Dear compatriots, dear friends of Belgium and of the Belgian Embassy, it's a pleasure for me to welcome you here at the Belgian residence in Jakarta. In a few days' time, we will have celebrations of the end of the year. And at the Embassy, we thought it would be a good idea to present to you some special Belgian dishes, culinary uh, delicacies, and in the coming six days, videos will be posted on Facebook uh, with the different colleagues making the dishes. We will be assisted in this by Chef Joshua, who is the, uh, the chef here at the residence, and I will myself start today. As you see, I'm wearing the cook's vest, the special face shield, and we are ready to go. Okay, Joshua, let's go. We are now in the kitchen to prepare oxtong in Madeira sauce. And we got the help of a Belgian smurf. So we will be extremely lucky today. Let me first tell you what the ingredients are for the oxtong Madeira sauce. You need, of course, Madeira. Madeira wine is a Portuguese wine. It's not easy to find in Jakarta or Indonesia, but don't use another wine. It's extremely important. Apart from that, you will need some tomato paste. You will, of course, need, you know, the salt, pepper, the herbs, and some laurel, some butter, quite a bunch of the onions, carrots, celery, mushroom, shallots, pickles, and of course, the major part, the ox tongue. You can use a veal tongue or you can use an ox tongue. That's depending on you. The first step is to put the ox tongue for more than one hour in salted water. Just like that, cold. The tongue has now been in the water for one hour and a half. It's now time to start with the preparation. What do we do? We take another pan with water, clean water, and then we will put the tongue and all these ingredients. I put the onions, carrots, celery in the water. Yeah. We, and we add some herbs. So, after two hours, my smurf and me are coming to have a look. And definitely the water is still boiling and the tongue is ready. So Joshua, it's time now to peel it and to cut it. Thank you, Smurf. And if I may say, it's very important to keep this, uh, the water and the mix that's in, in it, um, because it will be the basis for your sauce. So, once the, uh, the meat is cut, we just put it in the oven. Low heat, it's just to reserve, and then we start for the sauce. To start for your sauce, first chop the, the pickles, as Joshua is doing now. Same for the shallots, same for the mushroom. For this one, for the sauce, we start with butter, and then by reducing the mushroom, okay? Now, as you can see, the uh, mushroom is reduced. It has reduced enough. So uh, when you have reached that moment, then you just add the pickles and the shallots, which means the tomato paste and the Madeira and the wine is the last step of the sauce, not at this stage. I think it's now almost ready. As you can see, nice color. And now is the time to add, it's the final stage almost, to add the, uh, the Madeira wine. Quantity depends if you like. And now, the final touch is chopping the, uh, the parsley for the decoration of the meat. You take out the, uh, the meat from the oven. Okay. 
Okay. Put the sauce on the uh, on the meat. So, what do you think? There it is. Our dish is ready. Ox tongue with Madeira sauce. Looks good. Now it's time to enjoy. I hope you will enjoy soon. Thank you for your attention.